So over this past summer, I reviewed a gauntlet of uh, compostable cases. And if you watched my daily uh, reviews while we were all in kind of quarantine, you will probably recognize some of the cases I'm about to show you. Do these look familiar? So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna pro and con each one of these products, which include the Pella case, the Incipio Organicore, Wilma Eco Essential, the Casetify Conscious, the Urban Armory Gear Outback, the Caseable Eco Friendly, and for craps and giggles, I'm also gonna include the Life Proof Wake because, well, as environmentally friendly cases go, this is a worthy product to include in this video from my perspective. It's not compostable or biodegradable, but it's got something special in it. At Mobile Reviews, a Monty, Val, and I base our reviews on actual usage. Oh, hey Val, I need you to dig a hole. We base our videos on... Why am I digging the hole? <laughs> my back hurts. We base our reviews on actual usage, which means with compostable cases, we use them and we figure out how we're gonna test the compostability of these products. We're rogue reviewers, which is sad because in this context, rogue means that we're unsponsored reviewers. And that's by design because sponsored reviews, well, are they really reviews? For most of these cases, except for these two, um, there's detailed reviews for them. So, you know, do check out the description section for those reviews. So here's a couple of things that plagues every one of these products so that I don't have to repeat myself too much. The first thing is that they are all color sinks. Don't wear dark jeans when you're using these cases because the cases will become dark over time. The second thing is that they will fall apart quicker than the normal case. Simple drops will result in corners splitting apart. Yikes. And the third thing is that almost every one of these cases, except for one, looks like a fancy bar of soap that uses oatmeal bits for exfoliation. Like seriously, what is it about the compostable, environmentally friendly thing that requires us to show flax, whatever, oatmeal bits in their products? Like it just, I don't know. Like totally, like so, this organic cords, like soap. So let's start from the bottom up, and the next three cases are the ones that I would personally stay away from. They're all just bad. The first one is the Pella case. The pros is that this is probably the OG compostable case. It does offer better handling than the average compostable case, I'll say. The cons is that excessive hand sanitization may shrink the size of this case. That's right, it will shrink. <laughs> It doesn't fit the iPhone tightly. It actually fits like a loose glove, and which means it won't do much for dust and debris protection, and it definitely won't offer much in terms of face first drop protection. That's the Pella case, not great. Next up is the Wilma Eco Essential case, which is this nice yellow one. The pro is that, well, I got to pay 299 kronas for this product. Krona is, I believe, the Swedish national currency, and Krona sounds way cooler than, well, my currency, which is the loonie. But that's really the only good thing I can think of with this product. The cons is that the buttons on this case are very tough. The cutouts are very sharp. It's almost like they forgot to finish the case. This is the thinnest in the case, which means it offers the least amount of protection for your iPhone and the edges are very, very noticeable on this product. It took eight weeks for this thing to arrive from wherever Kronos come from to wherever Loonies exist. Uh, next thing we're gonna talk about is the Caseable case. In this case, um, the pro is that there is a spot for your wrist strap. The cons is that the buttons are terrible, the edges, like the Wilma case, are very noticeable. The finish kind of changes on the case after a couple months of usage. It's very, very slick and there's minimal clearance for the camera lens. Also, this case came in a plastic bag. Yeah, it was weird. Everybody else has like, you know, brown bamboo looking things. This came in a plastic bag. Next up is the Casetify Conscious. The pros is that this is a customizable case like most Casetify products are. This one handles better than the previous three and it is actually one of the thicker cases on this list which means it's gonna offer your iPhone more drop protection. The only con that I can really think of is that the finish on the bottom of the case is a little suspect on all the ones that they uh, sent me. Yikes. Most of these products in this video, I bought myself. Right here, you see, it's about $350 worth of cases. Honestly, I don't care which one you buy, just as long as you use my Amazon links, I don't care which one you buy. <laughs> but if you do decide to buy one, I want you to have the best information possible. The next case is the Urban Army Gear Outback. In this case, I like the most out of all the compostable ones, but it's not the top one because it just isn't as tough from my perspective, mostly because it's a very, very thin case. This has a very strong taper to it, so it feels very, very nice in your hand. So if you don't drop your iPhone a lot, this is a very worthy case to get. And the coolest thing about this product is that the buttons are actually, they kind of pop out a bit. So it really helps you with, well, the handling of the device. 
The only con that I've come with this product is that it seems to wear quicker than the other ones. Like I can take my fingernail and easily remove parts of the case, which is not great. So the best compostable case that I've used is going to be this Incipio Organic Core. It's the biggest case, which ultimately means it's the toughest case, um, but it's also the most rigid, which means dropping your iPhone face first, well, there's a better chance that it's going to survive in the Organic Core than all the other cases in this list, other than that one. It handles the best and the iPhone feels incredibly solid in this case. Now the cons is that the buttons on this product are quite tough actually. Not as tough as some of the other ones like the Wilma as well as the uh, caseable ones, but they're not easy to use. And the other thing I'll say is that the edges are mildly noticeable. Not as bad as the Wilma and the caseable ones, but still you can kind of see that they're there. Now at the end of the day, these compostable cases are still just made from some form of plastic. So it needs to be purchased somewhere, refined somewhere, shipped to another place, and then the factory makes the actual cases. And so, you know, it's, it's not exactly as clean as people, as the companies would want you to think they are. Honestly, it's a lot of uh, marketing stuff that goes into making a subpar iPhone accessory. And why do I say subpar is, if you haven't noticed, all the cases that I review in this video, they all break <laughs> quite easily when compared to normal bad cases. Because when it comes to what I do and mobile reviews, I care about the tech. So I really don't care that a company is doing a bajillion things about social issues they care about. Because at the end of the day, all I care about is being able to protect my device. Because my device, this thing, is the thing with the biggest carbon footprint. And so, you know, Am I gonna be carbon neutral with a case when I break my uh, screen because the case sucks? No. Let's talk about this life-proof wake. The wake is made from recycled ocean plastic, 85% according to their packaging, which means that the raw material for this product already exists. So in the general life cycle of creating a product, the first step from my perspective is better than, you know, brand new raw materials for all these compostable bioplastic stuff. The wake is better than all these products in this list, even the Incipio one, because it's a rigid case, which means when you drop your iPhone face first, there's a better chance it's going to survive um, in the wake because it's just got that much more rigidity to it. And so, so it doesn't let your iPhone fall out of the case, which like this pillow thing, like it's a limp noodle. But the bad thing about the life proof wake is that it handles worse than most of these cases, except for the Wilma and the caseable ones. <laughs> These handle so poorly, the wake is just right up there. The only saving grace with the wake is that the buttons are actually very, very nice. They're the removable ones that Lifeproof and OtterBox have been getting really good at. Uh, so using the buttons on your iPhone, great in this case. So all in all, it's just a better product. It's not compostable, but it has the same environmental focus, we'll say. Uh, so which is that is why I say that this is the best case in this video. It's not the best compostable case, that goes to Incipio Organicore again, but it's the best case in this video. This hole's not as deep as I want it to be. That's the clay underneath all this topsoil, so that's as good as we're gonna get it. Gonna bury all these compostable cases. I'm gonna leave it in there for almost a year. So before the uh, iPhone 13 comes out, we're gonna dig them up. So that's the plan for good measure. I'm gonna try to take off my uh, phone rebel case without, with one hand. We'll put that in there and see kind of what happens. I'll kind of make it a little better laid out. And yes, James Ogden, something will happen because it already has with the Pella case, remember? Anyways, that's kind of all I got for this video. First time watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe, producing content, I don't know, once a week at least. Um, but yeah, click subscribe, hit the notification bell because every single time you get notified of one of my videos, you get to see Monty Puppy. What kind of tie should we give you, puppy? Should it be this one or this one?